All right, so I picked up a trailer, and I'm gonna turn this into a trailer for my raft. So I stripped all the wood off of it, and the next thing I do is add on a roller bar. And a roller bar helps roll your raft up on top, makes it a lot easier putting in and taking out of the river. So here's the bolts, and what I'm gonna do is I already tack welded that nut onto the bolt. I got the bearing, and then tighten this bolt to pinch it together, or this nut to pinch it together, and then tack welded onto that nut as well. And then I've got a washer right there that will go and kind of stop the pipe from going over. So when I take the pipe, so this is the pipe I got right here, and then here's the bolt. This is just gonna go right over it. And right there, next thing I gotta do is I'm gonna weld around that to make sure that no water and stuff gets in there. And then there'll be a little bit of space right there to kind of help it slide around. But all that weight should push down on that bearing and allow that to slide. This is gonna, the bolt itself, I'm gonna weld directly to the trailer itself. All right, so I got the roller bar mounted on. Should make putting on the raft on a lot easier. I still gotta add some crossbars over there. And then you can kind of see how I mounted that. So I just ended up just tacking the bolts on and then just welding around that bolt. So it's actually on there pretty good. I've sat on this and tested it and it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. Don't judge my crappy welds. I'm gonna paint over it, so. Spins pretty good, but I probably could have made it better if I would have used longer bolts and maybe used two bearings on each side instead of just one on each side. Um, on the washer where I mounted it, it kind of drags on the bolt just a little bit, but not enough to prevent it from rolling. Still rolls plenty good enough to roll a raft onto it. So shouldn't be any issues, but yeah, it's gonna make putting the raft on a lot easier. And then all I gotta do is add a couple support beams on the inside to kind of have a little bit more platform for the raft to set on and I should be good. All right guys, I finished it. I've got the roller bar all installed and then I put two more cross members down and then I grind it off these the welds on the cross members make a little bit more smooth. But for the first time since I've gotten this raft, I can now load it all by myself. I've always had to have somebody help me move the raft onto either the top of my car or onto this trailer and then take it off. And now I can actually do it by myself. So I'm gonna kind of show you. The next thing I've got to get is a winch. But until I get a winch, I just use this strap, pull it up onto the roller bar. And we're loaded up. And then all I gotta do is strap it down. Now I can go do some solo floats or my girlfriend doesn't have to help me anymore because she hates putting this raft on. So she'll appreciate that roller bar as much as I do.